Preppy Crafty Girl and today I'm going to be journaling some pictures of my pets from when I was a child and I'm going to be using my binder journal and I am going to show you how I incorporate the vintage packaging. I love vintage packaging for the, the graphics, the text and the colors so I always like to incorporate that into my artwork and so I'm just kind of flipping through my journal looking for an appropriate page I've been really enjoying using this three ring binder uh, it was an old cookbook and I just kind of um, painted over and used fabric in that and just collaged and decoupaged on this cookbook and just kind of started to make it my own and I have a few pages going in here I'd started on it and then I set it away away and then I went to my mom's and I came upon a box of old photos and found some pictures that I thought I would like to journal about I don't use the original photos because uh, this is not going to be archival. This is literally just to keep my thoughts and be creative in. And this is some um, a seam binding piece from an old package of seam binding. I loved the black and the aqua and the lime green together and especially on that bold black and cream striped paper which um, I think is authentic paper I used and it's from their Cosmopolitan line I don't have a whole lot of it in this book but sometimes I like to make my dividers out of something that's a little more sturdy and authentic paper is actually phenomenal for that reason it's a very uh, sturdy and it also has a texture to it so I yeah, enjoyed incorporating it into this journal and I'm just making a pocket out of this packaging piece so I took some tacky glue and just kind of ran it around three edges and then these are post-it note cards my sister had sent me and I just loved the coloring in that with the lime green and the hot pink and just that pop of blue. I pulled this out of an old vintage book that I had. I had gotten it when I was in New Zealand at a thrift store. And I believe it was the Shaggy DA book, like one of the original ones that the movie was based on. And so I cut that tore that out of the book and it had like children's stories in it and stuff and this was in there and so I pulled that out of the book and I am laying it down behind the the uh, pocket as a background because I like the dog and the woman in her car and here I kind of eyeballed and saw that that circle was about the same as a circle punch I had and yes indeed it is and so the picture of my dog velvet to put in the center of that and then be framed out was just ah so cute i was so happy that it worked out so i'm just kind of putting that down this was my childhood dog her name was lady velvet of sharon and she had a brother named Patrick who ended up being friends of ours dog and then we got the girl I think this is the story I'll have to ask my mom if I'm totally correct because I was really young but we had her for a really long time uh, she is an Irish setter and purebred and she was just the most wonderful dog I just loved her and she was so patient and so kind with me I would just like lay all over her and oh my gosh she was my pony I mean she was just my whole childhood sidekick and I 
think she may have passed away when I was around 12 years old. So yeah, she was in all of my childhood photos. And I'm just happy that I came across some photos at my mom's and I can just write about my thoughts and how much having a dog when you're a kid is uh, just so great to have those memories. We lived on a farm, so we lived pretty far out. We had one neighbor. There was a family that lived next to us and that we would be friends with their kids and stuff, but um, I don't think there was anyone my age. I can't really remember because we lived on this farm only till I was five, and then this was in Massachusetts, and we moved to Connecticut afterward and lived in another farm. So I kind of flipped the picture around there because I wanted that green instead of the other color because there is that green not only in the packaging but also in the book page. And we're just kind of getting placement for that. So I would just kind of encourage you if you grew up with a childhood animal to pull out those photos and write about that special relationship. It was just really nice going back and, and just thinking about all the adventures that I had with my dog. Now moving on to some pictures that I had of my kittens when I was little. Because we lived on a farm, we had several cats. And it's important, especially when you have horses and you have animal feed around to keep the mice population in control. And they, necessar they wouldn't necessarily eat the mice as much as mess around with them and chase them away. I, I never actually saw the cats eat the mice, but I don't know, they may have dragged them out in the field or whatever, but kept the mouse population down. You don't want to have them in the horse feed uh, because, you know, it can cause diseases to the horses. So we had a lot of cats on our farm and it's so interesting because I was going back thinking about what the cat's names were and well we had one called Snowball which was named after like hostess snowballs and then she had some kittens named Gumball and Bubblegum. I never thought about it before how we had named our kittens after sweets. <laughs> this is a package front of a VH, not VHS tape, a um, an eight track tape and I just I've been hanging on to it forever and I finally am like I'm gonna use this thing and I love how I can use it as a frame I pulled out a Yahtzee game piece just because it's gonna be a neutral background and I also pulled out again I love using these address labels and I found that I had some with red I'm just kind of marking where the holes are going to go. I'm going to use that as a frame. Did any of you guys have to wear hats when you were little? My mom loved to put hats on us for church. We used to go to church and we'd all be dressed up, all dressed up to the nines. Hats, gloves, dresses, white patent leather shoes. I decided I was going to back it with that Yahtzee score sheet because I want to do some journaling and I want, I was going to do a page spread, 
but I just thought that it would be cute just to use that as an extra page. Again, this is why I love the binder, three ring binder system, because you can just add in a page. You're not stuck to what pages you have if you have a spiral bound. I'm just kind of putting that down. I also had a piece of children's book page that had a little girl and kitten. I have had that cut out forever and I just kind of came upon that. It was just really serendipitous and I am going to add that to the page. And then I realized, uh-oh, I put the holes on the other side. And then I thought, oh, well, I can always transfer the holes. Okay, this is real life, people. You know as crafters, I'm going to have a lot of glue down mistakes. It's okay. You just kind of learn to roll with it. And I am very easygoing about my crafting style. I do not panic because everything is fixable. That picture on the left. I had to laugh so hard. I'm with Snowball in that picture. I can see though that I had cut my own hair. So my bangs were cut off, which I think is hysterical. I don't know why, but around two to three years old, why children feel like they have to cut their bangs off. Has anybody else cut their bangs off as a kid? You can leave me a comment below. And also, if you want to leave a comment about your childhood pet, I'd love to share the memories with you. But I just thought that was so funny. It's, you just like hack them off. I don't know why. And I don't know if it's because around that age, you get your first haircut. And that is like, for some children, it's very traumatic. Or maybe it was you remember it as a great time. I'm not really sure. And so then that's why you want to cut your hair because it's always around that age of two, three years old. I probably just hacked it off with craft scissors too. I can't imagine my mom leaving out really sharp scissors, which is the other thing. Like you have sharp scissors by your eyeballs. And why aren't you being watched? But I have to laugh because, all right, my kids were not able to get a hold of scissors to do their own, but my eldest daughter was held down by the neighborhood boy who cut her bangs off. So it wasn't even my daughter doing it. I'm just busty cutting around and trying to get a placement. That little graphic is so sweet. I believe it's out of a little golden books. Not quite sure. Like I said, I've had it cut out for a really long time. But it's very appropriate. I'm just going to speed up this section because after I put the label on, I just did some journaling and I didn't necessarily feel like you would want to watch that in real time. I'm just kind of journaling about the cats and how when I was little, my grandmother would come to visit us and from Oregon and she loved to have the kittens and my parents wouldn't let us have them in the house however she would always beg me to sneak one in for her she loved cats she loved kittens so I would go out and I would sneak a kitten in into her bedroom so she could have the kitten and then she would call me when she, you know she was done petting and playing with the kitten 
and I would take it back outside. So those are good memories. I'm just kind of writing about that and uh, about how we just grew up with all these kittens and what their names were and the significance of them. Now I'm just going to punch holes in that page. I put it in next to where my childhood dog is and I just now going to repunch the holes in or I don't even believe I ever punched holes so now I'm just going to punch the holes so that it's in my book. I'm just marking the holes and just using a regular small little travel paper punch that I have with me. I just want to say that I've really been enjoying videotaping and crafting again and I'm so thankful that you my subscribers have been helping me build my following and thank you for leaving comments. I'm enjoying getting to know all of you and if you enjoyed this video just Click the subscribe link and give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you around, especially on Instagram.